World War I, also known as the Great War, witnessed many advances in technology, particularly in aviation. One name that became synonymous with aviation innovation during this period was Anthony Fokker. A Dutch aviation pioneer, Fokker played a significant role in shaping aerial combat during World War I. He was responsible for designing some of the most iconic fighter planes of the war, including the Fokker Eindecker and the legendary Fokker Dr. I triplane, which was flown by famous aces like Manfred von Richthofen, also known as the Red Baron. This video explores Anthony Fokker's life, his contributions to aviation during the war, and his lasting legacy in the field of aircraft design. Anthony Herman Gerard Fokker was born on April 6, 1890, in Kadiri, Java, which was part of the Dutch East Indies, modern day Indonesia. His family moved back to the Netherlands when he was young, and it was here that Fokker's interest in engineering and aviation began to develop. From an early age, he displayed a keen curiosity for mechanics and machines. By his teenage years, Fokker's passion for flight had been ignited by stories of the Wright brothers and other pioneers in aviation. In 1910, Fokker designed and built his first aircraft, which he dubbed the Spin, Dutch for spider, due to its wire-braced structure. This aircraft marked the beginning of Fokker's journey into aviation. His reputation as a young, talented aircraft designer started to grow, and soon he was operating his own company, building planes for private customers and performing demonstrations across Europe. Before the outbreak of World War I, Fokker had already established himself as a skilled aviator and innovative aircraft designer. His early successes were marked by a combination of business acumen and technical ingenuity. As aviation technology continued to evolve, Fokker's designs reflected a blend of performance, simplicity, and reliability. His early aircraft, such as the Fokker Spin, gained recognition for their stability and ease of control, traits that would later become hallmarks of his wartime designs. When World War I began in 1914, Fokker saw an opportunity to apply his skills to the rapidly evolving field of military aviation. Although he was Dutch and his home country remained neutral throughout the war, Fokker moved to Germany, where he offered his expertise to the German war effort. His decision to support Germany would have profound consequences for the development of military aviation during the war. One of Anthony Fokker's most significant contributions to World War I aviation was his development of the synchronization gear, a revolutionary mechanism that allowed a machine gun to be fired through the spinning propeller blades of an aircraft without striking them. Before this innovation, pilots had to fire their machine guns at an angle or from different positions on the plane which made aiming difficult and reduced combat effectiveness. The synchronization gear changed aerial combat entirely, giving fighter pilots the ability to shoot directly ahead while flying. This technology turned fighter planes into highly effective weapons, capable of taking down enemy aircraft with much greater precision. The German military quickly recognized the potential of Fokker's invention, and in 1915, the Fokker Eindecker became the first aircraft to be equipped with the synchronization gear. The introduction of the Fokker Eindecker marked the beginning of what became known as the Fokker Scourge, a period during which German pilots, armed with superior aircraft technology, dominated the skies over the Western Front. The Eindecker's maneuverability, coupled with its synchronized machine guns, allowed German pilots to achieve air superiority over Allied forces for a significant portion of the war. Fokker's contributions to military aviation did not end with the Eindecker. In 1917, he introduced the Fokker Dr. I triplane, a highly maneuverable aircraft that became one of the most famous planes of World War I. The Dr. I was most famously flown by Manfred von Richthofen, the Red Baron, who became the war's top scoring ace with 80 confirmed kills. The Fokker Dr. Dot I, with its distinctive three wings, was a departure from traditional biplane designs. Its unique structure gave it unparalleled agility in the air, allowing pilots to execute tight turns and complex aerial maneuvers that often left their enemies disoriented. 
Despite its relatively slow speed, the Dr. I was beloved by German pilots for its ability to outturn almost any aircraft in a dogfight. Though the Dr. I's production was short-lived due to structural issues, its impact on the war and its association with the Red Baron cemented its place in aviation history. Fokker's other designs, such as the Fokker D.7, also played critical roles in the later stages of the war. The D.7 and comma in particular was regarded as one of the best fighter planes of the conflict and was so highly regarded that the Treaty of Versailles specifically demanded that all remaining D.7s be handed over to the Allies after the war. Fokker's relationship with the German military was not without its challenges. Although his designs were highly successful, Fokker often clashed with military officials over production and quality control issues. He was known for cutting corners in the manufacturing process, which led to concerns about the safety and durability of his planes. In one famous instance, the structural flaws in the Fokker Dr. I triplane led to the temporary grounding of the entire fleet until the issues could be resolved. Additionally, Fokker faced accusations of war profiteering, with critics arguing that he prioritized personal financial gain over the needs of the German war effort. Despite these controversies, Fokker continued to enjoy significant success, and his aircraft remained in high demand throughout the war. Dot after the end of World War I, Anthony Fokker returned to the Netherlands and re-established his aircraft manufacturing company. He shifted his focus to the burgeoning field of commercial aviation, designing aircraft that would serve civilian passengers and cargo transportation. One of his most successful post-war designs was the Fokker F.7, a trimotor aircraft that became popular in both Europe and the United States during the 1920s. Fokker's move to the United States in the early 1920s allowed him to expand his business on a global scale. His aircraft became widely used by commercial airlines, and he continued to innovate in the field of aviation technology. By the mid-1920s, Fokker's company was one of the largest aircraft manufacturers in the world, and his designs helped to shape the future of air travel. Anthony Fokker's impact on aviation cannot be overstated. His innovations during World War I changed the face of aerial combat and established new standards for fighter aircraft design. The synchronization gear, in particular, revolutionized the way planes were used in warfare, turning them into deadly weapons capable of taking control of the skies. Fokker's aircraft designs, including the Eindecker, Dr. Dot Y, and D.7, were among the most advanced of their time and helped to cement Germany's air superiority during critical phases of the war. Beyond his contributions to military aviation, Fokker's post-war designs played a key role in the development of commercial aviation. His ability to transition from designing fighter planes to passenger and cargo aircraft demonstrated his versatility and vision as an aviation pioneer. Though Fokker's legacy is sometimes overshadowed by the controversies surrounding his business practices, there is no denying that he was one of the most influential figures in early aviation history. His work paved the way for future generations of aircraft designers and pilots, and his name remains synonymous with innovation and excellence in the field of aviation. Anthony Fokker's life was defined by his relentless pursuit of innovation and his ability to push the boundaries of aviation technology. From his early days as a young inventor in the Netherlands to his role as a leading aircraft designer during World War I, Fokker's contributions to aviation were groundbreaking. His designs helped to shape the course of the war and set new standards for fighter planes, while his post-war work helped to lay the foundations for modern commercial aviation. Fokker's legacy as a pioneer of flight continues to inspire, and his story serves as a testament to the power of innovation in times of war and peace. Thank you for watching our video on Anthony Fokker, one of the most important figures in World War I aviation. If you enjoyed learning about his life and contributions, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Heroes Historia. We'd love to hear your thoughts on Fokker's incredible innovations, so feel free to leave a comment below. Your support helps us bring more fascinating historical stories to you. Until next time, keep exploring history with Heroes Historia.